Hey everybody, Noah here with Learn Meta Analysis, and I wanted to do a quick video talking about how to actually adapt this moderator code to your data. Because I realized that as I was reviewing this, I told you what everything was, but I didn't necessarily explicitly state what types of things you're going to be changing based on your data. So let's quickly look through that. So let's say that you've run this grade, but well, let's see what else we have in our data set, because I'll just show you a practical example here. Give me one second. So if we look at our data set here, uh, here is one that we can use. We can use country as another analysis. So I'm just gonna copy paste this just so I don't forget. But we already ran grade range. What do we wanna do? How do we do country? Well, let's take a look. So we have this here. I would go ahead and label this. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and label, label it grade range. Okay, so now let's copy this whole thing. We're just gonna paste it down here. Okay, so now we have the same thing again, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to country. Now, the so the fast way to do this, let me show you the fast way because the fast way is more fun. Okay, so I highlighted just this section of code. Then I'm gonna do control F on a PC, so probably command F on a Mac, although I don't have a Mac to confirm this. And I wanted to find mod.grade. And I wanted to replace this with mod.country because I know I am analyzing country next. The next thing that I 100% want to make sure is checked is this in selection because I don't want it doing this in the whole code. I only want it doing it in what I selected. I'm going to hit replace. Okay. You can see it replaced the first one properly. I'm just going to hit replace all because I wanted to replace all occurrences in my selection. Okay. So it says it replaced six more. Wonderful. Okay. So now what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight this again, and I know that my previous variable was called grade range, but I want to swap that out, and my new variable is called country, right? So I'm going to replace all of these two. It replaced it in only two places, which is fine. That's all it really needed to do. Okay, so next, you can see that in my code here, I still have some things that are called Q grade, right? So I'm just going to change that next. I'm going to find Q grade. And I want it to replace that with Q country. Replace all. It replaced 12. Wonderful. So as we're glancing, glancing through here, we're like, okay, this is looking pretty good. I don't see any other references to grade. Oh, oh, yes, I do. I see a couple down here. I see grade Q test and grade Q test, right? So what I want to do is I want to fix those. And I am a little bit lazy, so I always just use this uh, this find and replace so that I don't have to type something twice. And we're just going to call it the same thing, but with uh, country instead of test. I, I'm sorry, instead of grade. So it'll be country Q test. And then I'm going to replace both of those. All right. So now you can see here we don't have any other references to grade. Everything is... Um, referencing the country. So let's go ahead and run this now. Run this. Yep, you can see that it worked. We have our countries listed here. We have our test of moderators here. If we run this Q test code, we hit run, it should save it. And if I pull this over, you can see we have our text file here that got saved, Q country Q. And last but not least, we want to actually create that same table without the moderator, so that I'm sorry, without the intercept, so that we have our ta table that we can report. So we'll hit run, and you can see it has done that for us here. Now, the last thing that we'd want to do is save this uh, result to a table, right? And so we can just do the exact same thing that we did before, where we do find and replace. And in this case, we're going to say uh, mod.grade again as what we're looking for. Oh, and you can see what it did there. Right, So you see how it got rid of that selection. That is not at all what we want. So what we'll do is we'll highlight this again and we'll say in selection only. I forgot to check that box last time. So it has mod.grade. We're gonna change that to mod.country. And we're going to replace all. Perfect. And now you can see it has uh, mod.country there for us. Oh, we have group by grade range. We don't want that. So we're going to say look for grade range and replace that with country, right? Because that's what we called it in our data set. Wonderful. Okay. 
And last but not least, we have to do a couple things, or I shouldn't say we have to, but there's a couple things I'm gonna do by hand, um, or nah, we'll just keep using find and replace, it's easy enough to do. So there's grade sum, right? And we're gonna train, change this to country sum, and we'll hit replace. Okay, great, making good progress. We have one more here, oh, yeah, one more. Uh, two more, actually. Grade num comp and uh, down here, grade type. So we'll say grade num. Whoops, I already had grade in there. Okay. And we'll replace these. Wonderful. Okay, last but not least, we have uh, the grade type table. So let's get rid of that. And we're going to replace it with type okay I know that seems like a lot of steps but it's really not bad it's a lot at least for me it's much better than actually like retyping all of this stuff by hand that takes forever so we're gonna run this it's gonna do it uh, we'll bring it open over here you can see it created our country result when we open it up we have everything just like we should wonderful okay so like I said, I know uh, I had forgotten to cover that in the other video, but hopefully you can see it is a little bit tedious, but if you use that find and replace, it's really, really not too bad to replicate all your moderator analyses. Um, I find it much easier to use find and replace than it is to actually hand type all of these things. The one thing I will say is make sure that you really do a good close look at these because it's very easy to accidentally miss something. So if you, if you listen to what I was doing as I was going through, you could see, you could hear how I was visually scanning each one of these and just looking for the word grade because I knew the word grade needed to be updated. So what I mean is if you tell R, for example, to have this one called grade num comp instead, it's going to overwrite the previous grade num comp. Okay, so you need to be very specific about what you're doing. Um, I like to use the find and replace because I find it helps me not make mistakes. I also like to use the find and replace because it, it helps draw my eye to a specific area of code and this can get really tedious if this is really long, right? So I've had meta-analyses codes that are like, you know, 2,000 lines or something like that. So when I highlight it, it, let, it helps keep my eyes focused on this is the section that I'm working on and this is where I need to check for the word grade and make sure that I don't have anything related to the previous moderator in this analysis. So hopefully uh, this helps you as you start to replicate this because typically speaking we have more than one moderator analysis to conduct. So this is the fastest way that I found to be able to run these moderator analyses with and build your tables without having to actually sit down and manually type in every single one of these things.